God's smile. Yeah! <laughs> From Colombia, Medellina. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. I've not been asleep. I know I've not been on nothing. I promise. Anyway, I was going to get in the swimming pool here of my hotel, top floor, but he said it's not open till 10 o'clock. How can you close a swimming pool? Like, what do you need to do in the morning? The sun's out. Let me get in. But anyway, I'm in the city now. See all this bit? Very posh, very nice buildings. Look at that. That looks dangerous, doesn't it? Oh my God, look at it from here. I can even smell it. It's just... It smells like universal credit would smell on someone, I'm telling you. Look at it over there. That looks like hell on earth. We're going over there. <laughs> it might not even be bad. It might just be sad than that, but it looks like shit. But I'm in Colombia. Um, I got here yesterday about... I couldn't even tell you. My time zones with the flight. Two days traveling. Four countries I done. I could not even... I couldn't tell you, I don't have a clue. Me body clock's everywhere, I'm still awake. It's morning, the weather looks shite, but I'm in Colombia. <laughs> right, let's sort ourselves out because as you all know, I haven't got a bank card. I lost my bank card in Thailand. So um, looks like it's gonna have to be a Western Union job. Go get some breakfast, see what's happening. Speak to a few locals, where can Gringo not go? And then we'll go. <laughs> My mate is already looking for breakfast, people. So I'm gonna go get something to eat now. It's raining, and I've got shorts and a t-shirt. Sorry, look. <laughs> but yeah, look like my man. The amount of funny looks you get for being a foreigner around this, man. I mean, only in the town. Wait till we get outside in the centre. We're out here today in shorts and t-shirt. Come on, I'm gonna go get some new clothes and that new attire. I need to look the part, maybe a little Colombian top. I don't know what they do here, what like sport do they have? But maybe something traditional to make me look more like a tourist. <laughs> but the amount of looks I'm getting is crazy, but that might just be because I've got a stick, I've got a camera and that, you know what I mean? It could be anything. Yeah, is that breakfast for me? Is that breakfast? No one speaks English, no one speaks English, like we're trying to work out which one's the breakfast. I'm gonna have this. I think that's a traditional Colombian breakfast, beans and rice, and looks like egg. I will have this one, please. Hey, yeah, you, you choose for me, you choose, you choose, you choose, right? We're getting the mystery gift. English? No hablo English, that's it. Everyone knows no hablo English. <laughs> it's mad to come somewhere when no one speaks English. But we've just said to her, give her the Miss Little Gift. Whatever she wants to give me, I'm going to eat. I can't wait. I am starving, to be honest. Oh, gutted about the weather. I think this is a traditional um, Filipino dish. Don't have a clue what it is, lad. I could not tell you. It's some kind of... It's bread with chicken and egg. Gracias. Gracias. I've got feta cheese on top. And I've asked for a coffee to wake me up in the morning. And uh, she's giving me a hot chocolate. So, um, language bad. is a bit fucked up at the minute. <laughs> I need to learn Spanish, I need to learn Espanol. But yeah, let's give this a go, shall we? That's great, that is great. I'm not even exaggerating, that is lovely. That's just egg with a bit of bread, with like a bit of parmesan on it, with maybe like a bit of onion and that in there. That Lovely. Oh, I can't move. I'm excited for today. Come on, ladies. Come on, come on. You all said you want to get in a photograph. I've just said to them, then come on, you're all getting in this picture with me. Go on, smile. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was lovely. Gracias. Wow, <laughs> went well. Oh, that was lovely. So I've just typed in Western Union on my phone and it's brought me to this bank. What kind of. Bank is that? <laughs> it's only even there, just telephones. How dodgy can you get? Okay. Need to find some type of Western Union here though, because we need to withdraw funds, otherwise, we're screwed. <laughs> oh, look at that. In big, beautiful yellow colouring. Western Union creeping up behind the corner like my stepdad. Well, I think everyone's in line, to be honest. Do you have to queue? Major heads outside this Western Union. Look, they even give you the ticket. 
and everyone's just got to wait in line. This is the first time I've come across this. It must be big in Colombia, but it's not big anywhere else. I struggled, I couldn't find one in Mexico, and I was even struggling in Thailand to find one. Oh yeah, I got me ticket number, number 74. Right, just give me ticket to someone. Because let's be honest, I, I don't know what 74 is in Spanish. So, I could be sat there all day not knowing when my number's getting called. <laughs> so, there must be an easier option. If there's not, we will go back there, but there is going to be an easier option, obviously. There has to be. <laughs> just out here winging it. We're going upstairs. Hola. So, there we go. Here's that other Western Union down there. And I've just walked here. There's four people in the queue, like, who's coming knowledge? You know what I mean? I'm in a foreign country and I've just skipped everyone. <laughs> People look at the queue for the pharmacy. Look at that. That's crazy now. <laughs> That's mental. <laughs> Holy crap. Look how big that line up there has got. Watch this. Lad, it goes from all the way up there to all the way down there. Lad, what? That's a full screen. That's mad. <laughs> That's mad. As you all know, I've had no sleep. So before I do anything, I need to look good, I need to freshen up, I want to go get me haircut, I need to go get some new clothes, man. I'm in Colombia, I'm not in Thailand now, throw new rig out, new haircut, a lot, new person, new vlogs, new series. Colombia, South America starts today. Don't forget as well, people, before I get, because I'm tired, £1,000 is up for grabs, three winners. I went like that with me, Mongi hands then. So, £1,000, the first one gets 500 the other two get 250 each. You've got three days to enter, 90p a ticket, you buy 10, I'll give you one free. The link is in the bio on every bit of social media, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I thought he was shouting at me then, whistling at me. <laughs> but yeah, don't forget, enter the raffle, three days to win money, 90p, you'd be stupid not to. Okay, bye. Back to the vlog. Just in the middle of the day, my man's going and rooting in bins. And I know what you're going to say. You shouldn't be videoing them all out. Give us some money, mids. If I give someone money, everyone has seen eating out of bins and that. Hola, senor. Good, brother. English, English. You okay? You okay? I mean, yeah. Clothes, clothes. We are. Yo, we need t shirt We need t shirts. Over there. Come on, let's have a look. Good job we spotted my man here. <laughs> Yeah, he's looking at it as well. Looking fresh, good job, we spotted him. I was on the way to get some clothes myself. Everything happens for a reason. Yes, people. Yes, go on the lad, top business man here. He stuck <laughs> us to get a fresh set, fresh boss set, getting myself some Nikes now. This is where it's meant to be dangerous downtown, El Salento, but obviously when we go like higher up, that's gonna be more. But this is sound. Everyone's been dead friendly in there. Nice. Oh, I don't think he's got him in red. I don't think he's got him to go with me rig out, lads. What's this just cost me about 20 quid? So I'll have to get the full rig out, fresh pair of kicks. My man near Mario, now he's going to take us to get a fresh fade. Come on, lad, yeah, hitting the fellas up in style. <laughs> I'm loving it, mate. He's got myself a little tour guide straight away. Obviously, he's getting a little commission out of it, innit? but I don't care, I don't care. Let him have it. Pesos, man, it's pennies. Spending it like Monopoly money. <laughs> Go on, lad. Ingles. In here, getting me haircut. Gracias. Thank you. Thanks. Go on, lad, lad. So I've just got a fresh gym. I really don't know about this, but here, lad. They look like Randy Orton or something, man. This is just all markets here, lad. You take that everywhere, everywhere. Yes, people, as you can tell, I'm a bit fried. <laughs> Colombia, baby. Them fellas there, oh, Sanders in it, and Sanders in it. And people are like, don't trust the locals, mate. We were running around back gardens and that with them getting green. <laughs> Go on, then, lads. Go on, hello, hello. Hello, my brother. No, you can't do any eyes. No, 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 not today. Oh, At the hotel now. Have a swim, and then we go to the ghetto, we go to the ghetto. Don't forget, people, I haven't slept, I'm knackered. I nearly fell asleep in that barber chair. Colombia, baby, Medellin. Oh, amigo, amigo. Yes, Booger, yes, yes. Good man. Look how close that truck is. Tell him, lad, tell him, go on. That was chaos there in the little crossroads. About seven buses at once. Yes, people, so look at me. Absolutely dripped out to death. 
Hugo Bustle for that. Got it for 40 pounds. Sat here now. Enjoying a little meal before we go up to Pablo Escobar's cartel. They're still active now. Obviously, he's not. He's got him. But <laughs> they're all still active now, and it is the roughest place in Medellin. Yes, people, what's happening? Look at me here. Absolutely. Hugo Bustle. Out there, damn in Colombia, chilling. Just enjoying a little chicken and rice and chips on the road. Bit of salsa now. We are going up to Pablo Escobar's old gaff, and I didn't even know it was his old gaff. I typed in on Google, most dangerous area is Medellin, and that was the first one that come up. Community 13, do not go tourist. I'm going there today, right now, after the scrum, mate. We're getting a taxi there, and we're going to walk up and down the full favelas. But that is where Pablo Escobar's cartel and all that. All the stuff originally it started from is that uh, thingy. I think it is one of the originals it said online. And yeah, I'm gonna show you, man. It's not even dangerous. I'm out here, you absolutely rigged out in that bag bag with me camera out, and nothing is gonna happen. I'm telling you, mate, it's like propaganda on the news. I am going everywhere where you say you can't go, and I'm gonna go. What are they gonna do? They're gonna rob me? Oh no, please don't take my shoes off me. Like, come on, mate, go. Enjoying this, then we're getting out there in the favelas, then hopefully later get some Latinas. Yes, people, what's happening? So, remember this morning when I was in that hotel and I showed you the favelas and the mountains and all that? That is not the favelas, that's just the city slums. There's nothing there but a bit of poverty. Now, the roughest place is where I showed you. Comuna 13, Pablo's old gaff that is still ran by the cartel. And that's exactly where I'm getting a taxi to right about now. Funk show, brother. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going to show you, man. It's safe isn't it? And I know it's the middle of the day, blah, blah, blah. But you couldn't even go there that night anyway. The GoPro wouldn't pick nothing up. But because I'm a day ahead of you, you forget this. When you're watching this, and this is yesterday, so I can go out tonight and show you all the women and that and get a better. Woo! <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going to get a taxi here now. And I'm going to show you. Stop watching the news, brother. Gang. Everywhere in the world is tourist city. I'm gonna do the whole of South America and then we're doing Africa and then the Congo and that. What's happening? Look at me here, fresh, fresh, fresh. No say. Where are you from? From Colombia? Yes. Uh, where are we going now? Comuna 13. Is it dangerous? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> dangerous, very dangerous. Can't wait, can't wait. Turn you over there. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Cleaning the windows and that. That's how you know we're getting more rough, people. These men are hustling out here. Come behind my there. Go on, then, lad. <laughs> yeah, they're all at it. They're all at it. Hustling. Trying to sell your peanuts and everything on the side of the road. Yeah. He's got steak on his bike. Talking about Pablo Escobar, it's like talking about Hitler in Germany, that's crazy. We've just said to him, Pablo's gone, and he went, no, no, no. That is crazy, lads. I thought he was considered as like a god. Obviously, I thought he put more money into it. Obviously, I'm not educated, but you'd think that, wouldn't you? You would. Let me see there, bro. What happens is that Escobar, apart from doing good things, also did many bad things. Many people died, died from his bonds, and he generated a lot of hitmen. Well, obviously, that's not good for the country, is it? Bad, that's bad. That's bad. Good deal. I didn't know that. He took proper offence. I asked him, and his mood was like, whoa. So, at least now we know before getting into there. <laughs> He was a great person at first, but then power made him change into a dangerous and bad person. Too much power makes a man go insane. We see it all the time. We see it with Bebo. <laughs> we ain't in the city no more, lads. This is the mountain. We ain't, we ain't in the city no more. We're out here now. We're out here getting some mad looks out the window. Loving it, loving it. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm loving it like that. Hey, from the city now, lads. Victims. 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 Yeah, we're well out the city. I'm going to zoom in on that for you, lads. That is major. That is where we're going. up in the mountains wow this is major this is like mad 
not even there yet and I'm like wow I hope you yes lad so fellas just drops us off in a taxi then I'm just gonna walk up Hola, brother. Hola. Nice, sound, sweet. The tunes on in that lad, go on, son. <laughs> I'm from England, bro, England. Thank you, brother, thank you, gracias. Gracias, brother. Come on. He's loving the tourism. See? Oh, you are home dead paranoid. Go on, lad. He's got the tunes on him there. <laughs> Colombia, baby. Go on, that lad. Me gusta. Me gusta. <laughs> Shut the shoes on and that. Get it. There we go for all you to say. Oh, he's not coming to 13. There. Now, this is more like it. See if I walk on the main road. Oh, shit, Michelle. <laughs> oh, that's a mad dodgy alleyway. <laughs> Steep as anything, though. Oh. <coughs> Haven't seen a gringo around here. Kids playing soccer. On a scooter. <laughs> I'm going to shoot you, you're coming there. Hola, brother. You good? Mad how many bikes are up here. This is steep. Steep. Hola, brother. You good, bro, yeah? Hola. See? Right, I think it's time that I get on the coke in Colombia. Ha! Ha ha! Caught you. <laughs> Let's go up here where all these kids are playing. Yes, brother. Curita. What? No curita. No curita. No curita. One money per soda. There you go, brother. There you go, there you go. Split it, split it, split it. Split it, split it. Give him. What is that? No, 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 no. No, no, no. What is that? What is it? Twenty thousand. You, you have that. Me, England, brother. Miami. Miami. Yes, big man. What's happening? Yes, bro. How long you? How long you lived in Colombia? Twenty years. Yeah, man. Good to meet you. What's your name? Hamish. Hamish. Yeah, man. Callum. Callum. Good to meet you, Hamish, lad. What's your name? Joseph Harlick. Yeah, man. Highland, brother. Manchester City. Go ahead. Show us some skills, lad. Colombia, campeón de la Copa America. Oh, you ruined it, eh, lad? <laughs> Adios. Adios, amigos. <laughs> Ain't just my ass. <sighs> Yes, proper for fellas and that now, kid. Hola, amigo. You go, brother. Hola. Hola, brother. Oh, the kids are not then friendly, man. What's that about? Round eyes, you don't want to be doing that. You get dragged in the bush. Hola, brother. You okay? Oh. Come on, we're here. Why is it awesome? Look at the city. There's the city. This is. So there's the city right there. And then this is the favelas. I never thought I'd be in the club here, favelas. What the fuck, look at that. Oh. Hola, amigo. Hola, brother. Yes, sir. Hola, amigo. Hola, brother. Hello. I'm not going to stroke him. <laughs> Oh, I never in a million years thought I'd be in a Colombia. Just getting about a favela and that, speaking to the locals. They're loving it, they are. Oh, 
Look at this for the viewpoint, lads. There's the city, there's the mountains, and there is the garbage. Wow, look at that, Colombia. <laughs> We're actually here, lads. I told you I was getting about. I weren't lying. This is the roughest estate. What are the others going to be like? <laughs> Hilton. Look at that. That's where we are. Over there. There we go, lads. Made it to the top and the most dangerous favela in Colombia so far on Google. Comment if you know any more dangerous and I'll hit them up this week. I am doing the whole of Colombia top to bottom. I'm doing the whole of South America. I'm not going home. I'm doing content and I am going to try to do the daily vlogs every single day. Look at this for a view. Just being here on a day, mate. I'm not asked about none of this. Like, what? Just because you're in the favelas. This is poor. Do not be brainwashed by the media. Just because it's poor does not always mean dangerous, okay? Now I'm off, people. I'm off. It's late here, my battery's gonna die. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and that. Comment if you want me to go somewhere or do something in Colombia. And don't forget to enter the raffle. 90p a ticket for your chance to win. 500 pounds, 250 pounds, or 250 pounds with just 90p. Buy 10 tickets, get one free. Look after yourselves, people. Ah, Colombia, baby! <laughs> this is how dangerous it is, lads. Just an engine with the little sun. There's an escalator in the prepared. <laughs> the media's got all you shook. 